Are you looking for a new game to try but don't want to break the bank? Maybe you've already put dozens of hours into Vampire Survivors and just want to try something new. Or maybe you're an ARPG fan with a thirst for endless slaughter that just never seems to be satisfied. Enter Halls of Torment. This $5 isometric horde survival roguelike hack and slasher is essentially what you get when Vampire Survivors and Classic Diablo have a baby. In this game, there's only one goal. Survive. You start out with access to just one class, the Warrior, and unlock up to 8 additional playable heroes as you progress through the game by completing various quests and fulfilling other unlock requirements. Getting into the action is simple. You choose your hero, walk through a rather imposing doorway, and choose your destination. Before you know it, the pleasure receptors in your brain are firing off like crazy as you mow down enemies, level up time and time again, unlock new skills, and find new equipment to better enhance your killing and survival potential. Gameplay and combat are very satisfying. Attacks are automatically fired off in the direction of your mouse cursor as you use your WASD keys to navigate the world. In the beginning, things seem pretty straightforward and manageable, but trust me, things can get pretty wild. You'll notice that there's a timer counting down in the bottom right hand corner starting from the moment you load into the map. Your goal is to survive until then. When that timer hits zero, the map's main boss will spawn and pursue you until one of you is dead. When you kill it, the map is beaten. Until then though, as that timer ticks down, wave after wave of enemies will spawn in, as well as bosses that can be killed for some of that sweet gear we mentioned earlier. Seriously, it can get absolutely crazy towards the end with the amount of slaughter and enemies that are on screen. Character experience is gained by picking up orbs that are dropped on the ground by enemies. As you approach them, you hoover them up to gain experience. Fill up your experience bar to level up. Simple. There's even an item you can pick up that will turn your character into a sort of super vacuum, sucking up any of those XP orbs that you might have missed. Watching your experience bar shoot up and leveling up multiple times in a matter of seconds during this is very satisfying. There's good variety with how you can choose to build your character, with a certain amount of RNG to it as well, since each time you level up, you're presented with three different upgrades to choose from. These can include damage, attack speed, movement speed buffs, or new abilities altogether, or upgrades for those abilities. Since no run is ever the same, sometimes you'll get exactly what you're looking for, and others you won't. This adds to the game's replayability factor. Sure, for the most part, on each run you can get a build put together that gets the job done, but the possibility of getting the right combination of items that creates something that's just insanely broken will keep you coming back for more. There are also certain game mechanics that allow your previous runs to enhance later ones. While you're slaying wave after wave of enemies, you have access to an on-map well. Using this well, you can deposit an item to be extracted by a vendor that's off the map. After your run, you can then purchase that item to equip and start off with it on any future runs. You also earn gold during gameplay, which can be spent to invest in bonuses to various attributes that further increase the power of your character. Addicting gameplay, multiple classes, playstyles, and build variety make Halls of Torment a game I would recommend if the gameplay style suits you. Considering the game's price, less than that of a meal at any fast food restaurant these days, it's a no-brainer. Hell, I would still recommend it even if the price was slightly higher. What do you think? Did you enjoy Halls of Torment? How do you think it stacks up when compared to Vampire Survivors? Let me know your thoughts down below. This is Jarbo Gaming. We'll see you on the next one.